Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. It is currently 7.28 in the morning, and I am getting ready for Record Store Day, which is the main event of today's video. Obviously, I'm only going for one release personally, and I'm doing a pickup for somebody else. It. the weather is really poopy right now like it's storming it's not the best weather so I'm not gonna do anything crazy to my appearance because I'm really gonna be standing outside in the pouring rain for roughly two hours or so waiting for the store to open but yeah only want two things the record store usually posts like a video showing like where everything is at like the night before and the releases I did not see them post that, so I don't even know if they're going to have what I'm looking for, and if they don't, I am going to be pretty upset about it. We're going to have to see, um, so I'm going to have to wear a rain jacket, I'm literally just wearing basic t-shirt and some sweatpants to get me by. I'm going to probably get Wendy's breakfast or something, um, and I'm going to run to Walmart real quick to film a Squishmallow video because they restocked last night. I think I'm just gonna kinda wash my face, brush my teeth, and get out of here because if I put on like all this makeup or whatever and it's just raining outside, I just don't personally see a point. Today, I have work at 12.30, which is fun. And this record store opens at 10. And I'll check in with you guys in a bit. A few moments later. Any other weather would have been fine, but I brought my AirPods so I can at least have some music. But I'm gonna run into Walmart first and I have my rain jacket on, so it kind of kills the vibe of the fit, but I really don't care. because it's raining and the line was super long and I didn't really know what was going on but I'm they had two different setups at this location you can either go inside the actual record store or they have a tent outside with a live band that has some of like the more popular releases or anticipated releases so like all the Taylor Swift stuff was outside and inside I did a pickup for my friend of that and they were kind of sneaky with this because there's no price on it um so nobody really knew how much it was and it ended up being fifty dollars and like i said this isn't for me this was a pickup for a friend i hope that i the record store i go to is kind of infamous for raising the price on certain things so i just really hope that a lot of other stores are selling this between 45 to 50 dollars and that they didn't like double the cost of this but everybody was buying this. It's also, you know, a double LP, so I feel like 50 isn't too bad, but again, this isn't for myself. I only wanted one record, which was also right next to the Taylor Swift, so I was very happy that it was outside and I could just grab the stuff and not wait in the ridiculous line inside. So 25 minutes from them opening, I'm in and out. So I'm heading home. We'll sit down in the office real quick and show you guys again what I picked up. I got Taylor Swift Folklore the Long Pond Studio Sessions. This was a pickup for my friend Jasmine. You guys know Jasmine sends me care packages and vinyl and everything like that. I've made a bunch of videos on Jasmine, so she was unable to attend today, so she asked me to pick this up. This was $49.99, which is kind of crazy for a double LP. I just... I don't know. It's been a minute. I, I I really shouldn't like say that it's a lot because like I bought some M&M records that were like 60 bucks, you know, and I've definitely spent $50 on a double LP in the past, but I just felt like for this, it should have been like 35, 40 bucks. I don't know. Here are all of the tracks. I don't really know anything about this. I think it's a very beautiful like cover and 
these are like embossed so it's like raised up same with the picture and stuff so I like the little intricate details on it and I think this picture is really pretty of Taylor so I grabbed this for Jasmine I will be sending this out to her so I'm not going to be able to open it or anything but it is a record store day exclusive something else that they had a little bit different this year at this location was they had what they called silent auctions so there was a few records that they only got one of and one of them was a Taylor Swift like seven inch single so I'm not sure what that was, but I saw that was on the list. A Macho Man thing and the 1975, I guess, had like a live album. So instead of just like letting it be, you know, first come first serve, since they only got one of each, they were doing like a silent auction. So people had to like bid on the stuff and see what it would go for. Um, when I was there, only one person bid on something. It was the 1975 album and they bid $60 on it, but that was because I was standing right by like the silent auction table, so I watched the person like fill it out. I don't know if I really like that idea or not, because I mean you should just sell it for what it goes for and like tough luck, like whoever gets it gets it. I don't know if he was like donating to like a charity, like some of the profits from it. Um, I know that they were doing some like raffles that were going to charities and stuff. And there was a donation that you had to do to get like the Taylor Swift button. There was like a Taylor Swift button, but in order to get it, like you had to donate to a specific thing. There was a lot of stuff going on. Like there was like schools there trying to get money. It was just a lot. It was kind of overwhelming upset I guess if somebody was like bidding on it and they like paid an outrageous amount for it and that's the reason why I didn't get it versus if like oh I just didn't get there early enough and like somebody just bought it at face value and like they only had one copy like oh okay tough luck you know I just didn't know how I felt about that anyway the only thing that I personally wanted which was thanks to somebody who commented on one of my videos and let me know this even existed was the Post Malone 12 inch single for the like two like extended like bonus tracks that were released after the album came out and that's Waiting for Never and Hateful which are literally two of the best songs from 12 Carat Toothache. I don't care what anybody says like they are literally so good. So um not a huge fan of these clear plastic sleeves you guys know but that's just how it is. So it has the little sticker up here with Post Malone's info, the album cover, and then it says the songs down there. And then it says Record Store Day, April 22nd, 2023 in the bottom corner. And this was $20.99 for, you know, like a single, but I get it's, you know, it's not a 7 inch, it's a 12 inch. Did it really need to be a 12 inch though? I don't think so, but I do have, I think it's Rockstar. Or something that is a it's back there I think it's Rockstar that's a 12 inch single that Posty's put out so I guess it makes sense um, I have a lot of Posty stuff if not I think all of Posty's stuff so I wanted to pick this up for sure I like that it's at least the red vinyl because it matches the butterfly so I think that that's pretty cool but um, yeah I only saw three or four of these I'm happy I got the Post Malone that's all that I really cared about if you guys attended let me know what you picked up in the comments down below and I'll see you again very very soon peace out Girl Scouts